Good evening, it's Kuro. I'm being a, I'm being a scum tonight. Dragging out my Stalingrad. This is the uh, first game I've played with it. Uh, bought it mainly because my clan said get it. Going over the matchmaking. Looking at a couple Montanas. Uh, Republic. Musashi. All of these are pretty good threats uh, to my ship if I get broadside cross fired and anything like that I mean even these Montanas and the Republic plunging shots into uh, my superstructure through my bow can do a lot of damage so you know that's that is a concern uh, looking at the uh, enemy cruisers you know uh, got a lot of DPM here we've got uh, Des Moines Minotaur Henry can be uh, a concern. Moskva has higher DPM and also is more tanky. So if I get in a Bawa and HE fight with a Moskva, I'm probably going to lose that. Uh, got torpedo threats with uh, the Shema and the Yu Yang. Yu Yang's particularly, you know, scary because um, the deep water torps. Uh, if you weren't aware, Stalingrad uh, doesn't have the option to run hydro. So those deep water torps they just you just eat them there's there's not much you can do about it unless you've predicted you know where those torps are going to pop up now talking about stalingrad this is a ship that not a lot of people have uh, it's not overpowered in the least people need to figure out how to how to how to defend against this ship number one the bow is is very vulnerable take a look at the uh, the armor viewer and most of this bow uh, the upper bow is all 25 millimeter it can be overmatched by a ton of stuff um, actually even uh, turpits can overmatch my bow uh, that's a, a huge weakness now if if people are shooting you know at the the lower bow that's 50 millimeters it'll bounce everything so shoot high at the bow if you're you're a battleship and you can do really consistent pin damage through the bow you're actually gonna see that one of the the Montana's gets a a good shot that uh, some of the shells hit my bow as I'm, I'm coming in here uh, my objective as a Moskva I'm really tanky uh, uh, for a cruiser at least I've got radar and what I want to do is I want to keep ships off my broadside I'm looking to make sure you know everything's my mini maps how I want it um, but what I'm, I'm looking to do is basically push into this island and then draw a line that nothing or nothing at this island can cross within my gun range. I want to be able to, to push in there to radar the cap at will, pop in my radar. Unfortunately, DD's not in range. I thought he was hiding behind this island. He's not. So, just I think he's peeking right there, so just taking a shot. Um, I pick up three overpins, but you know, I see these ships back here. The Henry in particular with IFHE can just go right through my my 50, 50 millimeter armor. So I'm just looking to play safe. Uh, that initial shot there, I probably should have shot that Minotaur. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, to hit it or not. That's why I shot the... Uh, the Montana but looking at it again I might have been able to sneak in a, a pretty good shot on that Minotaur now what I'm doing you know I'm I'm willing to, to tank a bit to try to get shots on on these guys so I'm just gonna you know get my guns over here I'm trying to be cognizant of a torpedo threat so I don't want to poke out too much from this point on the island and then I don't know what that Turpitz is doing but it's he's creating a problem for me um, the problem being 
I'm, I'm starting to enter into a crossfire where this Montana back here and this Tirpitz out here is are going to be able to crossfire me. So how I'm going to handle that is um, I'm basically going to start hugging the island, try to, to deny the Montana a good shot at me. And then as I'm doing this, I'm going to going to try to work my way closer and closer into the island as I angle more and more at this uh, turpits. Both DDs go down. And you see kind of what I mean with this turpits that I don't think this guy was really looking at me, but uh, I hit him pretty good there. He's going to start looking at me and I mean, for those that don't know, Stalingrad AP is no joke. Um, it's got the enhanced pin angles, um, I believe even short fuse. Um, it's just very consistent. I mean, you look at it, I'm, that's back to back 10k volleys on this, this turpits. You can, you can see how I'm just kind of digging in here. You know, uh, fires can, are a threat. They can burn me down. Now, this is tank build. Uh, so, fires do last, you know, a shorter amount of time. But the issue is, you know, the fundamental. I mean, with the tank build, I think the fire a fire burns 30 seconds. And, you know, I'm just going to ride this out. I want to get this turpis killed before... Uh, you know, I can really get focused, but you can see I've achieved what I've wanted. I've basically uh, in position where this this turpits he can't really do anything to me, and the uh, the Montana he's he can't shoot me thanks to you know that big rock sticking up on the end of the island, and I know with that shot that that's a dead turpits. This AP is just too consistent, and. You know, you can see, just in here, just just playing safe. You know, just going to be, you know, that pain in the ass. And, I mean, you look how much ship, how many ships am I jamming up right here? I've got um, a Montana, a Henry, a, uh, a Moskva, this Des Moines peeling off. Um, I'm tying up three ships that could otherwise be pushing this cap or making, making a problems for my team just with this position so you know this is something that Stalingrad is very good at Moskva also is uh, pretty good at it as well although the AP on the Moskva isn't nearly as frightening you've got better H HE but and uh, better DPM in general but uh, it's it's much easier to bounce Moskva AP than Stalingrad so what I'm, I'm doing here I'm just I'm looking who wants to come out and play you know I'm, I'm comfortable tying up all of these ships uh, we've got kind of a shit show out out at a cap I know we might lose that because I think these guys might be outnumbered uh, but I'm okay you know tying up this many ships uh, our Kerfers, by the way, is AFK. Uh, I make a joke about it in chat about him just being a battle, a typical battleship player, but you know, that's it is what it is. Now, I'm I'm getting focused down. I'm I'm not gonna sit and, and just tank it. I'm not a battleship. I'm not, you know, I'm here to deal damage, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kite back. I mean, you can see, you know, I can heal a pretty good chunk. I've only got one heal left. I've already tanked 1.8 million damage. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, later you'll you'll look. This Montana behind me is full HP. Um, if you watch my Kerr first game, you'll you'll know what I mean. Where it, when this is what I mean about, you know, leading the pushes. Um, this Montana, you know, he didn't have to go all the way in. He could have came up to this island, and he could have taken a lot of heat. Um, you know, he could have 
pushed in, baited uh, the Montana shot, and then kited out if he needed to. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that he could do. Um, but, I mean, at this point, we're up a ship. You know, uh, the enemy's cap and B cap, and I realize that it's getting to be time that, you know, got to do something. It's time to to get out there and make a play. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to push into C cap. My team's having a hell of a time capping C. This uh, Des Moines, you know, he's kind of in a pickle with the uh, with the Henry. Uh, I only shot that when I saw the Henry turning. I was hoping that I could sneak in a Citadel, but uh, he was just too close to the island. I was only really able to get a, a overpin on him. So here comes my push again. I was looking to see if the, the Henry was going to come out. He's stopping, which is a smart move there. If he had poked, he would be stuck in a crossfire. That's the only reason I paused there to see if he was dumb enough to to make it easy on me. And uh, when he wasn't, you know, it's it's time to push up and uh, support the team. coming out here this Montana I'm waiting for him to come around the island so I gotta can actually see where to, to aim I mean that's what I'm talking about where, where these these guns are no joke I mean in the good old days that that probably would have been a devastating strike on uh, the Montana since this thing is just going to go right through um, broadside Montana armor. But he's angled. What I'm looking at now is getting upper belt and uh, superstructure damage. And, I mean, you can see the consistency I'm talking about. You can also see the, the pen damage in my superstructure, too. I mean, it's, it's pretty consistent for a Montana that way, too. Now, I I pushed out a little forward, and, uh, you know, I'm able to duck back into cover before the, uh, the Henry can punish me. Well, not duck into cover, I'm able to angle. But, uh, I'm gonna hold right here, and basically kill this Montana. Montana's stopping, so... That makes it, uh little easier he ends up flooding down and I'm just gonna resume my push now this Henry appears to be burning down um, in my opinion why not push out get the resets get a little extra damage in you know uh, why sit there and die and not do anything? Uh, you know, maybe that's just me, but uh, he could have really delayed me later on in the match by coming out and even just getting a reset on me. And, you know, that, that'd take me another, uh, what, 60 seconds to, to cap this base? I am able to pick up the cap. I was kind of gambling that uh, he wasn't going to be able to get the shot off. At that point, honestly, I didn't really care if I got the cap. I knew the game was most likely in the bag. <clears throat> so my game plan is... We've got all of these enemy ships out here. The worst case scenario is if they start advancing kind of like this because... If I push straight across, I'm going to end up in a crossfire from one of the, the flanks. So 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to go kind of wide and just start pushing like this until I, I kind of get a feel for where these guys are going. And then I'm going to make my call as to, you know, do I want to push up? Do I want to, do I want to kite south? Um, that's what I'm thinking of. But positioning wise with uh, Stalingrad, it's just like Moskva. Always be thinking what's what's going to be on my broadside. What's what's on my broadside? Um, giving your broadside to to ships, that's how you die in a hurry. And also coming out here into open water, uh, I'm not detected now. That tells me that I'm probably safe from uh, deep water torps from the Yu Yang. But if I'm if I am if I do get detected and it is a destroyer, I not I need to start thinking about you know driving evasively to to maybe avoid some of these torps um, because that's I mean torps are amazing against Stalingrad that's me pointing out the HP on uh, on these uh, battleships I've been a good meat shield my gearing does a good job picking up B cap and uh, I'm trying to tell my battleships you know push up you know, don't don't just sit and, and tank. We're losing this Musashi. He he's not going to be able to get out. He's trying to angle, you know, trying to to hold out as long as he can. But you know, not much he can do. Now that I know where the battleships are, the Chapiev is. I'm actually starting to push in a little more aggressive to block a push into B cap. Now I know these ships are going to have to push. I'm I'm content to sit here and let these guys push into me and just farm them as they come in. Let my gearing do the spotting and uh, just work them over. Uh, however, a wild Yu Yang appears. <laughs> now, I'm going to pause it right here. Um, while this looks uh, like it's very dangerous, I'm actually in a pretty good position. And the reason why... Uh, number one, I have radar, so I can hammer this guy at will. Uh, but the shape of the island, you see this little contour here. I can push into here, and I'll be incredibly hard to torp. Whereas, if he wants to torp me, he has to keep opening himself up out here. And you can see he's starting to smoke right now. And it doesn't matter. I mean, trying to smoke... He's he's gonna get wrecked one way or another. So now that I'm I'm in here where he can't torque me, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna pop my radar once my guns were reloaded. Now that was that was critical. I waited until my guns were completely reloaded then popped radar and shot him. The reason being, if for some reason he wasn't dead, I would have a second crack at him. So, you know, this is something to, to think about with uh, your cruisers, particularly ones where you've got a long reload on them. Uh, space your radar out so you get the most amount of shots out of your radar. Now at this point, I'm drawing my line. I don't want you guys crossing this line. And, you know, this Chapiev, he's going to push right out here. And he was just, he was going much slower than I thought. But he's a dead man now. You can't give this much broadside to a Stalingrad. So, 
so that is Stalingrad uh, you know I, I talked about you know most of its strong points its play style how you want to utilize it uh, yeah it prints dreadnoughts um, I also talked about some of the weaknesses how you can counter it and this ship has a lot of counters it just requires people to, to understand what those are and uh, you know you can you can you can really tear this ship up if uh, if you know what you're doing it just it doesn't have a lot of DPM if if uh, you're able to bounce its AP its HE is you know if if a Stalingrad's resorting to HE uh, it's rough times indeed so looking at the damage you know nothing fancy 133k um, 2.1 million potential damage with 108 tanked uh, you know I, again just is very strong cruiser very strong uh, and it's it's particularly really good at holding positions holding lines and if you can push without exposing your your broadside it's it's a very good pusher uh, but you know it's it just like a battleship you need to make sure you don't overextend you know and there there are things that can wreck you um, so hope you guys enjoyed the game with uh, Stalingrad um, I I don't know if anybody has ever really picked this ship apart and and talked about it from uh, how to utilize it and as well as uh, how do you counter it kind of thing um, so you know and right there you can see kind of the breakdown of the damage that I took um, you know the the Montana you know it, it can wreck this ship through the the 25 millimeter bow um, so you know hope you guys enjoyed the game um, leave any comments below um, you know if you have any questions or something that you you want to see in particular on it um, I will do my best to get your questions answered hope you guys are having a good night and I will talk to you later